Mornings have brought a subtle mix of fog and clouds over the past few days, and the weather forecast shows a slight drop in temperatures on the horizon. I'm looking forward to another wave of crisp morning and evening air as we inch closer to the end of October. After returning home from the mountains, I've mostly settled back into my normal routine, with the exception of getting ready for a community yard sale, as well as a little chaos from a busted pipe inside the house last week. Everything's okay, but I spent a few days sorting, straightening, and putting things back into place. And it makes me think about how the mood of our home also affects our mindset. There's comfort in tending the space where we spend countless hours of life, whether it comes in the form of sprucing up a room, adding the warmth of a scented candle, or simply dishing out our favorite recipe. The sights and sounds and smells of a well-loved home spark a sense of solace. And in the spirit of soup and sweater weather, I thought it would be fun to share a weekend project my mom and I did together using her herb salt recipe. If you'd like a fun and easy activity to spice up a cozy evening or a weekend, stay tuned for a list of ingredients and a simple outline of the process. The recipe can be adjusted to taste, and I hope it's something you enjoy creating. Also, if you'd be interested in more of this type of content from time to time, give the video a thumbs up or let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate your support of the channel and I look forward to growing and exploring new things together. For today's video, I'll also list the ingredients in the description box below so you'll have them all in one place but feel free to pause or take a screenshot as we go if needed. For this recipe, you'll need 2 thirds cup coarse sea salt, 4 tablespoons each of garlic powder, onion powder, and ground oregano, 2 tablespoons each of dried basil leaves, dried thyme, dried rosemary, and Hungarian hot paprika, which is optional if you want to give it a little kick. And lastly, you'll need two tablespoons each of dried orange peel and ground sage. But for a more robust flavor, add extra seasonings of your choice. Combine all ingredients into the blender and blend until fine. It's that easy. Just a word of caution though, the salt mixture has a strong scent, so don't inhale too deeply when opening the blender or packaging it. A mask can be used for sensitivity if needed. Well friends, thank you for being here today. I hope this has been meaningful for you and something you'll enjoy on your favorite dishes or to create for a special gift item. Until next time, here's to home and family. Have a blessed and pleasant week.